Great, we're gonna go right into questions for infielder Anthony Villar. First question is from Susan Miller Degnan of the Miami Herald. Susan, go ahead. Hey, Anthony, um, how just generally your thoughts right now, how disappointed are you? And what did, you know, what did Gino tell you after the game, the whole team? Yeah, it's a huge disappointment. I mean, we were on the team the whole time. Um, I've been saying that they had a lot more energy than us the whole weekend, and we had to pick it up. Um, we scored early. We scored in the first inning every game, and then we just stopped scoring. And they had the energy to fight back, and we just weren't able today to, to come back and score some runs with them. What the, the energy factor, what do you think that was from? What did the other guys say? What do you, what do you think? I mean, I just think that, that uh, since we got out early, we thought we had the game under control. But little by little, it started getting out of hand. And uh, I mean, the energy from our team came out late in the innings when we needed when it needed to come out. They didn't think. I mean, I, I don't think we just we just needed we need to have energy the entire game. Okay, thanks, Anthony. All right, Anthony. Your next question comes from David Ferronas of the Sun Sentinel. David, go ahead. Hey, Anthony, you mentioned the team stopped scoring uh, after a certain point. Seems like you know that has been the case uh, throughout the weekend. Uh, what do you think needs to happen? What do you think the, the guys need to do in order to uh, not have those mid-game letdowns and just, uh, you know, be able to hit throughout? Yeah, we, we just have to keep grinding out our bats. You know, I mean, like I said, we were scoring early and then we just stopped. I, I think that's I think that's a mental part of it because we scored in the first inning. That's that's usually – you don't usually score in the first inning three games in a row. So um, I think it's just the mental – a mental aspect of it, and we gotta, we just gotta stay on them and try to get into their bullpen early and just keep scoring runs. Anything else for Anthony? Anthony. Right. Oh, go ahead, Susan. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Anthony. What? Maybe you told me this. What did G, What did Gino tell you guys after the game? What was his message? Um, his message was the same thing that I just said, was that they just had a lot more energy. And, and today on a Sunday that the wind's blowing out, uh, we just got to make better pitches early in the count and not leave so many balls up in the zone. But um, that's the pitching side of it. As a hitter, we just got to have a lot of energy in the dugout and have taxing at bats on the pitcher and just try to get into their bullpen. Their pitcher should not have been out there as long as he was going into the fifth or sixth. We should have gotten him out after the third inning, especially after throwing two or three runs on him in the first. Okay, thanks. All right, Anthony, we're going to, going to go to Christopher Stock of Inside the U. Chris, go ahead. Anthony, your, your hit there in the sixth um, that put you guys ahead, and then Yo-Yo comes up. You, you guys go up 6-4. At that point, did it feel – did you guys feel pretty good about, you know, going into that – those last few innings there? Yeah. Well, I, you mean – I know – I mean, we always we always feel comfortable going, going into the late innings um, with a lead. Um, with Ben and Carson in our, in our bullpen, we're very confident with them. Um, it was a little earlier in the in the game, so we had to use other guys to, before we get to Ben and Carson. Um, but yeah, we were confident. We always have, we're always confident with our bullpen. Whatever decision Gino has to make with the bullpen, we're confident with that. We're just trying to play defense behind them. Okay, 